visual art people. Today we're going to make some alphabet soup. Mm. Not real alphabet soup that you can eat, but a piece of artwork that you can look at and appreciate. Let me show you how we're going to do it. It's going to be several steps and this is just this little video is just step one. First of all, I'm going to take a bowl. I don't know what was in that bowl, don't ask me, but it doesn't matter. We're not going to eat out of it. I'm going to put it face down, hold it down, and with my pencil, trace a nice circle around it. Not too bad. Inside, this is going to be my bowl, as if we are looking down at it. We're looking down into the bowl. And you need to make some letters for our alphabet soup. So using either crayon or oil pastels, I have oil pastels, I'm going to go ahead and put some letters in there. I'm going to make my alphabet. And I'm not gonna line them up. I'm gonna make them tilted. Maybe some of them will be backwards. I'll make my D backwards. Some of them will be upside down. I just wanna fill it up. I already used this color. Doesn't matter. Some of them can be different sizes. You just want to mix it up. If you want to sneak your name in there somehow, so it's sort of jumbled and it's not perfect, that would be kind of cute too. Let me see where I left. H I J K L M. That's my upside down M. Uh oh, it's a W. That's okay. Let's skip around. Maybe I'll make a Z in there. I have to put an O. Let's stay away from black. But bright colors work pretty good. Do, oh, I'll put in a T. Okay, I think I've got enough letters. I'll put another, another A in there. You can't have too many A's, right? All right, so next, I'm gonna take an orange and a green and put in a couple little carrots. So a teeny tiny little orange square for my carrots. Because you know, you gotta have some veggies in there too with your noodles. Maybe four or five of them. Then I'll take my green and I'll put some peas in. And that's it, it's pretty simple. I'm staying within the confines of the circle so I can create my soup. Now, instead of having it floating in this whiteness, we're gonna make a broth. So what I've got is I've got a little container here. I've got some liquid watercolor, this is yellow. Let's put a drop or two in. Get some liquid watercolor orange, put a drop or two in. I put a little bit more yellow because that's very orange to make it look sort of like a broth. And then I'll take my brush and stir it up. Might take a little bit of water, add a tiny bit of water to it. And this will be my broth. Now, some of you might not have liquid watercolors, and I'm gonna show you how to mix up an orange and a yellow to get a good color using the pan watercolors. But first, let me just test this color out. It's pretty orange. Might wanna add a little bit more water to it. But these oil pastels should create a resist effect. If I press down hard enough with them, they will sort of push away the color so they stand out which is kind of nice. All right, so I'm filling in my circle. If you, don't, if you don't get it completely inside the circle, that's fine. We're gonna end up cutting this out at some point. So if you go over the lines, no worries. Now we've got our alphabet soup. We're gonna let this dry and set it aside because we will be using it again. But like I promised, if you have watercolors that look like this, you can totally mix up your orange and your yellow. Take a nice wet brush, put it in your orange, give it a good swirl. And I use this as a mixing tray up here, put a little orange down there, clean my brush, swirl it up down here, my yellow, and I mix my colors together and it's a pretty decent looking orange. So give it a shot either way. If you don't have any watercolor or if you don't have any liquid watercolor, you could probably use food coloring too. But Definitely invest in a set of these if we haven't already. I know I ask people to buy some. Um, you can get a set for four bucks, and if you're careful with them and keep them, keep them nice and clean, it'll last you all year. So I'll be back. Right now we've got our alphabet soup. 
Next, we need a placemat and a napkin and an actual bowl to put it in, but we'll do that later. See you then.